Paul Hamilton here. Let's take a look at iBooks Author. If you're a teacher that uh, is teaching a science um, class, for example, in high school, iBooks Author can be an absolutely wonderful resource, especially if your students are using iPads in the classroom. So here, it's very much like Keynote or Pages. Pages. It's a drag and drop setup here. So I've just created a quick one. We're looking at energy uh, an energy investigation looking at the solar cooker. So down the left hand side here you'll see this is my uh, title and to be honest to to substitute the pictures in iBooks author is as easy as opening up one of your folders and dragging your image over to the top and you can see there I've got a H2O picture there that I've substituted it doesn't really suit this topic but you can see how easy that is. So what would I start with? Well, when I inserted my chapter one, I would look at just grabbing a picture, giving it a chapter title, and down the bottom, I'd be looking at the outcomes. Uh, in my case, I'm from Australia, so I'm going to uh, reference the Australian curriculum. And I'm just telling the student when they open up their iBook exactly what this is about and what I'm assessing. My next section here on my next chapter is I'm looking at the theory of solar uh, cookers and I'm giving them all of the things, the information that they actually need. On my next page I have continued and then I've put on the side here a little formative assessment. I've got uh, what's called a quiz question and I find that by looking at the top, right at the top there's a widget section and there are some wonderful widgets here that we can use. Uh, there's a couple of new ones with the update of iBooks Author, this pop over and uh, scrolling sidebar, which is fantastic. I've used this one, the review question, very easy to use, where you can put a little multiple choice question here and where the students down here can check for their answer to see how they're going at the end of each chapter. Really powerful uh, tool that iBooks Author has actually included. And then I move on to the, in the investigation. So here's the planning process. We're going to get the students to actually uh, plan out the solar cooker. And what I've done here is I've done the task. You can see here it's a group task, uh, three to four students, and they have to design a solar cooker. I've got an interactive model that I've found here that I've inserted. Now, um, for the iPad, to for you to actually view the 3D model has to be on the iPad, but I've got some real interaction type activities for the students to look at. I've got very, very clearly um, what I'm actually assessing them on. Um, and so that the students can have this task with them, including the theory with them 24 seven. So if they're bringing their iPads to school and then taking them home, they will have access. No left behind sheets of paper, no forgetting passwords with learning management systems. It's right there 24-7. And then I've included a little uh, uh, chapter here on the future energy. So this is a little bit like going further, if you like. So I've got some information here about where students can go with iTunes U and actually subscribe to an open univers university course called Future Energy. Um, some unbelievably effective and valuable resources can be found for free on iTunes U um, and so you can direct the students there. Obviously being on their iPads they don't have to change devices. And then I finish with and this is I guess a little bit more with the iPad that I'm using from a teacher's perspective I'm going to write down the students here. I'm going to write down the, my class and I'm going to utilize the note-taking skills or the note-taking tools, sorry, within um, iBooks on the iPad to be able to just highlight students' names and write observational data, uh, observational notes on my students so I really get an understanding of where they're at with their investigation. Now, of course, this isn't the full unit here. This is just a really quick one that I've done up on the fly, but you can see how all the resources that I'm gathering, I'm putting in one engaging, engaging interactive iBook that the students can then take home, uh, work with parents, and make it a very a visible, transparent unit that I'm actually teaching. 
a uh, little bit later on, I'll show you what this looks like um, from an iBooks perspective. So what this looks like on the iPad, and I'll show you how to take these anecdotal notes as you go along. I must say that if I quickly go into a new template with iBooks Author, you can see now that iBooks Author has an update. We've got many new templates to choose from. We've got portrait only, landscape, some wonderful different books that you can base your unit on with your students. And also more widgets, more tools. Um, I haven't explored these yet, but I'll certainly be looking into these two in particular as um, tools that will hopefully bring about a more interactive and engaging book. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.